day had been busy. The pups had already swept the garage, hung up the laundry, <laughs> and played who can put the toys away the fastest. Finally, they were on their last chore and the one they most wanted to do. They did their other jobs first so they could really have fun with this one. And this one was paint the bench under the big tree at the front of the fire station. We'd all voted on the color and every one of us chose bright red. With paintbrushes dipped, the pups set to work. I have to say they worked well as a team. Each pup was careful not to paint on someone else's part and to make room for the others if they needed to get into a hard to reach place. Dilly did get a little red paint on the end of her nose, but other than that, all went very smoothly. The bench looked unbelievably bright and cheerful. Even some birds flying by stopped for a moment to perch on a branch and admire the pup's beautiful work. The pups all agreed that at the end of the day, when the paint was dry, they would enjoy a nice cool drink of lemonade on the bright red bench. And with that, they hurried off to make the lemonade. while I saw to getting the brushes cleaned. Dilly looked out the window and admired the bench. As she looked at it, she thought that maybe she saw a small spot she had missed and slipped out to see if she was right. In the yard, the bench gleamed a brilliant red and Dilly saw that there was nothing wrong with her part. And she was very happy. She turned to go back into the fire station. But as she turned, she slipped on a pebble and she fell backwards. She put out her hand to stop the fall and I bet you know where it went. Right onto the red bench. Dilly quickly took it off, but sadly, the damage was done. There on the bench was one paw print as clearly as if it had been put there on purpose. I guess Dilly saw that I had just finished cleaning the paintbrushes, and so she wasn't too sure what to do. It was at that very moment that Dilly decided to do the wrong thing. She decided not to tell anybody what had happened. And no one would have known about the problem until much later, except that Smudge, who was wiping the lemon juice off the counter, looked out and saw the paw print. All the pups raced out, including Dilly, and they couldn't believe that their beautiful bench was messed up. When I asked the pups if anyone knew how the paw print got there, they all shook their heads and said they didn't know. Even Dilly. I was about to ask again when the alarm sounded, and in a flash, the pups jumped aboard. Now I have to admit, as we raced along the street to Felina the cat's house, it was curious that no one had said they did it. It was curious because it was a paw print, a pup's paw print. But as we arrived at Felina's house, I had to think about other things. There was no sign of her. As we looked around, we found a huge pile of earth at the foot of the garden. There were flats of flowers by the hole the earth had come from, but no Felina. And when we listened, we heard a little call for help from way down at the bottom of the huge hole. And we all looked in. Felina looked up at the pups and told them she was so glad they were there. She explained that in her excitement planting her new flowers, she'd gotten a bit carried away with her digging, and now she simply couldn't get out of the hole. It was so big. Tanker was quick to bring a rope and attach it to my pulley. Then he tossed it over the side of the hole. The pups formed a puppy dog chain using the rope, and it was at this moment that everybody knew who had put the paw print on the bench. Dilly offered her paw to Felina, and as Felina grabbed hold of it, she asked Dilly why it was covered in red paint. I have to say, for a fleeting moment, the entire chain stopped pulling. I was so surprised my pulley stopped. Then in true team-like spirit, the pups worked on. When Felina was out of the hole, we all cheered. The pups helped put some of the earth back. 
After all, a flower needs only a small hole. Lily came over to me. I asked her why she hadn't told the truth. Lily lowered her head. She was afraid her friends would be angry with her. She said she was really sorry. She told me how it happened and that she had fallen, and by now she was quite upset. The other pups stood around her, Smudge smiled at her, and said that he would have felt very bad if he had done it. Para told her that the print added a kind of flair to the bench. Tanker told Dilly that she should have told him because he would have painted it again for her. And Dilly felt much better. I'm very lucky to have such wonderful friends. She said she would tell the truth the next time. And she apologized to the pups. And they all hugged her because everybody makes mistakes. Felina's garden looked wonderful when everybody was finished planting the flowers. And I watered it with my hose. And then we headed for the fire station. At home, Dilly got the tray. Smudge got the pitcher. Tanker got the glasses. And Farah poured the lemonade. Then they all took the glasses, brimming with lemonade outside, and sat under the tree on the bench. The bright red bench was just perfect, even with the pup paw print. From that day on, Dilly always told the truth, even if it wasn't easy. And sometimes it wasn't. It made her feel good. And do you know that if you tell the truth, even when it's hard to do so, you'll feel better too. Just like Dilly.